Worked example 1.14 illustrates the steps in a typical acid-base titration. In this example, a standard solution of sulfuric acid is used to find the concentration of a solution of sodium hydroxide. There are five steps set out in the strategy that you can adapt for any titration calculation. Let's work through them for the above titration. The first step is to write down the stoichiometric equation for the reaction. You may be given this, but if you have to work it out for yourself, make sure that it is correct and balances, otherwise everything that follows may be wrong. In step two, look at what the equation tells you about the amounts that react exactly. Here, one mole of sulfuric acid reacts exactly with two moles of sodium hydroxide. Now in step 3, use the concentration of the standard solution and the volume used to work out the amount in moles of H2SO4 that has reacted. There are two ways to do this. I recommend that you do the calculation from first principles. The concentration of the sulfuric acid is 0.1 moles per decimeter cubed. So you can say that a thousand centimeters cubed of sulfuric acid contain 0.1 moles of H2SO4. This means that one centimeter cubed of sulfuric acid contains this amount divided by a thousand. So 21.4 centimetres cubed of sulfuric acid, the volume that reacted exactly, contains the above amount multiplied by 21.4, which comes to 2.14 times 10 to the minus 3 moles of H2SO4. Alternatively, you can use equation 1.9, N equals C times V, where N is the amount in moles, C is the concentration in moles per decimeter cubed, and V is the volume of solution in decimeters cubed. So, N, the amount of H2SO4, is C, the concentration, 0.1 moles per decimeter cubed, times the volume, 21.4 centimeters cubed, which we must convert to decimeters cubed, 0.0214. And that works out to the same amount of H2SO4 as by the previous method. There are two problems with using equation 1.9. Students, particularly in the exams, often get the equation wrong or forget to convert the volume of solution to decimeters cubed. So the method from first principles is safer and you can miss out the middle stage of finding the amount in one centimeter cubed of solution as you become more confident. In step four, you need to look back to the information given by the equation in step 2. The number of moles of sodium hydroxide that reacted will be twice the number of moles of sulfuric acid. This amount was contained in 25 centimeters cubed of solution. That's 0.025 decimeters cubed. To find the concentration of the sodium hydroxide solution you need the amount in one decimeter cubed so you divide the amount in 25 centimeters cubed by 0.025 decimeters cubed which gives a concentration of 0.171 moles per decimeter cubed.